There's that old saying that the sun always shines on the righteous. Got it wrong this time, hasn't it? This is Worksop Priory, as most of you will know, and you will already know why I'm here. I'm here for another survey of the unnamed Harvestman Liabunum species A. A Harvestman which has been in the UK since 2009, when Dillis and myself found it about half a mile or so just up the road from here. Then three years later, to the very day, we found it on the walls of Worksop Priory. Counted this species on a number of dates each year ever since and her last came here on the 10th of June and promptly counted 42. No real signs of any aggregations then so we'll have to see what today holds. Meanwhile the sun still shines on the righteous and me. Well, the sun's come to its senses and stopped shining on me, but we have a usual aggregation place just under that archway in the brickwork. And when I came here last time, I think I counted just the two. There are 19 there today, all have grown. We're still a malt away from being adult, and these are some adults, and of course, all have the characteristic white knees. But nice to see an aggregation of 19 there. It's amazing how ever since 2012 aggregations have always formed in exactly the same places. And yet of course it's a completely new range of harvestmen each year. So a good start. Don't usually start at this end but oh, I'll start in the quiet bit today. And this is the northern side of Worksop Priory. Never used to get any harvestmen on this side, just the occasional one, but last year that changed and I had higher counts on this side than they did on the southern side. Now, I'm expecting that again this year because of the three warm periods of weather that we've had. We've just had one and are now just waiting for the next one. And I'm wondering whether the hot temperatures that we've had, especially on the southern wall, will have affected the numbers. I don't know yet until I've gone round here and checked in that archway of one of the doors. There's a number of archways here on this side. And so that's where I'm heading next. We're on to a decent count, or a nice start with those 19 under that archway, which is just on the left of the screen. Well, I've only found another four Libuna species they tucked in the architrave and carvings around the doorways on this northern side. A bit disappointed in that, to be honest. I thought that we might get a, a decent sized aggregation. They do tend to tuck themselves in, but are a lot easier to see now than on my last visit because they're a lot longer legged. So, poor results really from the northern side time to have a look around the main doorway on the western side and then go around to the southern side where hopefully we will be able to boost our total of 23. Well here's the first decent aggregation on the southern side they're on the point of bursting open, which aggregations tend to do. If I can just see if I can count these. I have took a photo. Jeez. All of course immatures have those white knees. I get 35 there, one's tentatively thinking about leaving look. 35 there and there's another aggregation at 12 
just to the side here. Well, I'm very close to these. The camera is little more than six inches away. I'm stunned that they haven't split. They normally do. They can certainly detect shadows and will have split at the sign of shadows. But it's nice that these haven't upped and gone. The largest aggregation we had on this very spot here was well over a hundred, I think it was a hundred and twenty individuals. That was in one of the years that produced really good counts. The counts here have varied over the years. I expected when they first started being recorded here that the numbers would build and build and build, but they haven't. We've yet to see the really large numbers that have been seen on the continent, for instance. I still love coming in here to record these. We have a bit of descent in the ranks or a bit of reorganisation. But it's amazing how one doesn't completely trigger the whole lot. They will sometimes partially split. In fact, the one that was separate is now coming back to join the fold. You can see how beautifully marked these are. This is another immature female. She will be mature after the next molt. I would love to come on a night time and have a look on the walls here, but unfortunately it's just not safe. Not safe to do so. Quite incredibly long legged, even by Lyabunum standards. Now here's an immature male. Slightly shorter bodied. Markings are different, they're predominantly green. Still absolutely beautiful when they do, this one does molt. Like all males, it will be completely metallic. Dark emerald green. Well, one last look at this, well, what's been a very well behaved aggregation, the most well behaved and the least skittish of all the aggregations of Liburn species A I've seen on the walls of Worksop Priory over the years. They've not really broken ranks a great deal, they've just partly come away some of them and they're very quick to rejoin the group. And these groups will split up on an evening, once it gets dark they will go their separate ways and they will all meet up back here again before dawn no doubt. Well, there's the you just see some of them doing that vibrating that they do occasionally. It's quite often just before they make a run for it, but these haven't done. Wonderful to see such a group. Let's hope next time I come, this group will be larger. I never touched them. I never touched them. Brilliant things, absolutely brilliant.
been a nice little hour here today. I found 72 Liburnum species A, which is a, an improvement on the 42 five weeks ago. I'll be coming again in August, and hopefully the fee aggregations that I found today will be more populated, and hopefully there will also be some more smaller aggregations around the entirety of Worksop Priory. Maybe there are even some on the trees. I will have a quick look after I finish this piece to camera. Always nice to see an increase and say now they are all pretty much one malt away from being the rather spectacular adult harvestmen that these are incredibly long legged despite having such long legs and standing a good sort of three to four inches off the ground you would think they'd have a head for heights but they don't it's that sort of recess that they're under where that lip in the building is in the architecture that's where they like to aggregate there are higher places on the wall behind me that they could aggregate on but they prefer to be about six feet off the ground that's funny but it's good for me though we have recorded them occasionally higher up but that was many years ago but it certainly helps my neck not having to strain to count live moon and species hey the only problem is though that i run out of fingers in order to count them and hopefully we'll get over three figures next time i come around so home it is <laughs>